Hola, y'all. I, we have not been home long from basketball. We had an away game, actually an all day tournament because both of our, two of our kids played today. And um, anyway, so we got up at the crack of dawn. I got up earlier than I do for work. Got up in the fives. Um, my, my, I set my alarm for five every morning, but I don't always roll, I don't roll out of bed at five. Anyway, I'm a snooze puncher a lot. Um, but anyway, this morning we had to be out of the door. All of us showered, dressed, ready. Um, 6.20. I think we got out of the door at 6.30. So, that was good. Um, we did not get home till almost 7 o'clock. And I came straight in the house, went to the bathroom uh, for a bath. I just got out of the bath because I just needed to soak because I'm tired. A very good day, but I'm very tired. And um, so I threw on a jacket and came out here as soon as I got out of the tub. My hair's not done. I just threw on a headband so that I'm semi-presentable. I don't care. It doesn't matter. I don't know why I go through these explanations, these intros at the beginning. I'm very sorry. Uh, I thought about stopping them completely, um, but it's just what naturally comes out. I don't know why I start with my day, but when I'm talking to God, I start with my day as well. I guess just like I would talking to a friend. And I thought, um, if anybody watches these, they're probably thinking, be quiet and get to the point. Um, stop telling us about your day. And I thought, I'm going to edit them out. I'm going to cut them out. I'll do it because I'm talking to God. Uh, but then when I edit the video, I'll just cut it all out and I'll just start playing where I start talking about the devotion in the Lord. And I seriously considered that. Um, and then I thought, no, um, I want to be authentic and I want to connect. And so I like to tell you what my day was like for like a couple of minutes before I get into it. But today I'm done. I'm very tired. I think it's getting close to eight o'clock. I think, I don't know what time it is. I was in the tub for like an hour, just soaking. Uh, I wanna do something different because I am tired and I'm gonna walk. And I don't know if you remember that walk of silence um, where I actually lost my voice and I couldn't speak. Um, and so I just put a couple of my thoughts on the screen while I was walking in the darkness. Well, I thought this time I would title it rest and I'm going to walk and I'm going to play some music in the background. And I thought I would put on the screen, um, some scriptures about rest because I know, I think, and I know that rest is incredibly important. Physical rest, spiritual rest, just rest emotionally all the way around. We need to rest and we find our rest in God. And tonight I am physically tired. I'm not really tired any other way other than physical, but I am physically tired. And so I wanted to play some background music for you while you walk today. My hope is that you walk with me. Um, or if you just sit there in your recliner and turn it on and listen, that's fine too. Um, whatever you want to do. But I just thought I could play some music in the background and I could quote some scriptures to you about rest. And my prayer for this mile for you and myself is that while you listen to it and walk or while you lay there in your bed, or sit quietly somewhere, maybe having a cup of coffee in the quiet with the Lord, um, sitting in nature and just looking out at the trees or whatever it is you do whenever you listen to these. I am praying that you are getting rest, that this is a peaceful time for you and a restful time for you because today I need to rest. And I'm really bad about pushing myself physically, sometimes beyond my limits. 
and uh, you may not think God operates this way and that's okay. You can think whatever you'd like. It doesn't, it doesn't bother me if you were to say to me, well, I don't believe you or whatever. That's, that's okay. Um, God uh, speaks to us in ways that we hear even when other people don't understand it. But I am bad about not resting physically. And there have been times when I've gotten sick and it was <laughs> not, I'm not super sickly, but there have been times in my life where I've gotten sick. And but due to that sickness, I was not able to go to work or go to a function or go to whatever that I would have pushed myself to go to, even though I was overwhelmed or tired or overworked or just, I really needed to say no, but I didn't want to say no or just wouldn't say no because I don't want to let anyone down. And I've gotten really sick before and I was forced to stay home and it was such a relief. And for me, and no, I'm not saying all the time, I'm not, I don't feel that way about every obligation, but I do think there are times in my life where it was God's mercy, where he gave me a physical ailment that allowed me to bow out of something that I needed to say no to in order to rest. And when you're sick, you can rest. Like people understand, I'm like, oh, you got a virus, you need to rest, go home and rest. Um, you know, your spouse gets you your favorite soup and rubs your feet or lets you stay in bed all day while they take care of the kids. I know mine does, very thankful. And you get to rest. Um, because rest is incredibly important. So yes, for myself, I don't know about you, but for myself, when I am not disciplined enough, I know people would say, well, that's super disciplined to go to work when you're sick. But when you put other things ahead of your own health, it's not wise. So when I've been unwise, God has politely maybe nudged in a, a massive migraine or something, or maybe a tummy ache to put me in the bed to force me to rest and I've needed it. And uh, yeah, I don't know if that sounds weird to you or not. I'll leave it at that. But um, sometimes we push ourselves beyond our limits and we need someone to tell us it's okay to rest. Um, when I was really sick, I got sick twice due to those uh, vitamin deficiencies, whatever. Anyway, I got up to go to work and I got up to try to put my clothes on and I was so sick. And I sat back down on the bed, I waited a few minutes. I got up and I tried again. And I went in the bathroom just trying to walk around just thinking okay it'll go away it'll go away you get up you're okay go put your go try to put your clothes on again by the third time my husband leaned up out of the bed and he said jesse if you can't even get dressed you have no business going to work and when he said that immediately i put my clothes down and i crawled back in bed and i text uh my boss um my uh, assistant principal. And I said, I cannot make it. I am so sick and I am so sorry. And I began trying to text because I couldn't call. I tried to text some substitute teachers to take my spot. But it was like, I needed someone to tell me that it was okay. I needed someone to tell me to stop trying to put your clothes on and go get back in the bed. You're so sick. I needed like permission, you know, not that I need permission. I needed someone to tell me it was okay because I don't like to miss work and I felt incredibly guilty even though I could not get dressed. Um, so when he said it, it was this huge burden off of my shoulders, this huge weight. And I feel like, I'm trying to explain my comments about the Lord. I feel like there have been times when I just wouldn't say no and the Lord has slipped me an excuse a physical one um to stay in bed and rest because he knew i needed it so today's mile is about rest i hope you get some let your body recharge so that we can go forward and do the work that we're called to do because where you're not you know where you're not rested if there's no rest there's a lot of stress um and we need it our bodies need it so I hope you're blessed on this wonderful Saturday and uh, I hope you get some rest and I hope you stay rested.
take some naps, get into bed early, maybe sleep in tomorrow. Don't miss church. <laughs> but, um, happy Saturday. And I'm going to read you some of my favorite scriptures from the Lord about resting. Matthew eleven twenty eight, 28 Come unto me, all ye that labor and are heavy laden, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you, and learn of me, for I am meek and lowly in heart, and ye shall find rest unto your souls. For my yoke is easy, and my burden is light. Psalm 4 and 8 I will both lay me down in peace and sleep For thou, Lord, only makest me dwell in safety Hebrews 4 and 9 There remaineth therefore a rest to the people of God for he that has entered into his rest, he also hath ceased from his own works, as God did from his. Let us labor, therefore, to enter into that rest, lest any man fall after the same example of unbelief. Psalm 55 and 6 And I said, Oh, that I had wings like a dove, for then would I fly away and be at rest. Lo, then would I wander far off and remain in the wilderness. Selah. I would hasten my escape from the windy storm and tempest. Mark 6 and 31 And he said unto them, Come ye yourselves apart into a desert place, and rest for a while.